This episode of the number one selling artist in history of Belize, we're going to talk about what it's like taking my music career into being a supermodel and catapulting into the acting, going into being one of the leading actors in movies and major commercials for major brands all around the world, Europe, all over Africa, South America, Asia, Central America, and in the United States and Canada. And I am so excited to share the good news with you guys. I am excited about sharing everything that's going on with you. Because as you can see, I am an actor coming out of Belize. Belize is a place where we have very limited resources and very limited opportunities. They believe that the only way they can make money from their music is by getting a major deal with some major record company. And if they are not signed to nobody, they believe that they have a failing chance. I I am trying to show them and not just them but showing other people around the world that you can make it you can do what it takes to rise above your challenges you can have a successful life despite of where you're at and your situation that you're in I've never been looked at as a winner but now I am the sexiest man alive in the country I'm known in South America as artista my sexy del mundo I am the number one selling artist in the history of the country and I'm going ahead to doing bigger and better things. I'm reaching you, which is already a winning plus for me. That's my biggest accomplishment, is for you to be able to listen to this video right now, get inspired, get motivated, get out there and make things happen for yourself. Today, I'm filming a cellular commercial and I am overly excited because this gives me the chance to fly into Cancun, get on the beach, put on my trunks. I've been training properly. My body's feeling good. My abs are tight. This is a moment that I've been training for. So when you have trained for a moment and you get called or get an opportunity for that moment, you approach it confidently. You approach it with all the swag and confidence in the world. And that's what you gotta do. Prepare yourself mentally, spiritually, physically. So when these opportunities come your way, you are ready. You are ready to attack fearlessly and accomplish masterfully. So go on out there, prepare yourself mentally, spiritually, physically. It doesn't matter where you at. It doesn't matter what you're going through. If you want it, then you gotta be willing to put in the work that it takes to achieve it. And you definitely deserve it. So get your mind ready. Get your spirits ready. The universe will open up for you. No matter what you're going through, my friend, hold your head up high. Be kind, be patient, be humble. Go out there and do what it takes. When I arrive at the beach, it's like, I already pictured this in my head. I already knew how this was gonna turn out. I already know how it's gonna go. And I'm just on a whole nother level mentally. I know that I have trained properly for this moment. So there will be no surprises. The only surprise that's gonna come out of this whole event is the surprise that I'm about to give the directors, the producers, the actors, and the other staff members who are on production filming right now. So I'm about to conduct myself as a professional while I'm working with all the supermodels around me and I'm feeling well deserving of this opportunity because I do know the work that I have put in to get to this position where I'm at. It has not been easy, but I knew that this was possible and now it's time for me to reap the benefit of this moment. My mind is closed in on the moment. I'm enjoying every bit of this moment. I'm going to suck it in and I'm going to drag it right through. Enjoying it, every bit of it for what it is. In this scene I'm filming right now today, 
I'm supposed to be in the ocean on the phone and I'm just like uh, having a nice time out on the beach when I got pulled out by a rip tide. A rip current pulled me out and I ended up getting caught up outside with some waves, started to drown. The lifeguard saw what was happening. She ran, jumped into the water to rescue me. She noticed that I had a cell phone in my hand, reached for my cell phone, started doing CPR immediately on my cell phone, resuscitated my cell phone, and that woke me up. So when I woke up, I was just like looking at her with amazing eyes of gratitude, telling her thank you for resuscitating and saving my cellular life. That's the whole gist of this commercial right here. It's an amazing and great work by a magnificent production team. And I'm just grateful to be a part of this whole project. I remember what it was like being in Belize, being confident and feeling inspired to do great things. Despite of my poverty situation, despite of where I was at, despite of the hard times that I was facing growing up, growing up with no mother, no father, living with my brothers and my sisters, they did the best they could with the little bit they had to try to provide the best life for me. Life was hard. It was not an environment that was inviting to help groom an artist to be the number one selling artist in the history of the country. It was not an environment that would help groom an actor that would be filming movies around the world. You owe me. Who are you all night long? It was not an environment that would groom an artist to be performing on stage in front of hundreds and thousands of people and reaching millions of people eventually through his music. inspiring people around the world in many different countries who are faced in the same different type of situations. So all I'm saying is whatever you are, whoever you are, whatever you're feeling, there's something inside of you that know you are deserving of good things. There's something inside of you that shows that you are deserving of it. If you are willing to put in the work to go get it, I'm sure you can get it. Coming from where I'm coming from and doing what I'm doing, most people look at me who don't know my struggles and they think I'm arrogant. They look at it and they say, oh, he's so egotistical. They say I'm egotistical because they don't know my struggles. When they see your value, they see themselves as less. So instead of them saying that, they rather say, hey, you're egotistical. When did confidence ever become a bad thing? When did feeling secure about yourself and being motivated and inspired ever become a bad thing? When did you believing in yourself become a bad thing? Don't let nobody make you feel like you are a bad person for being confident, for believing in yourself, for wanting to go after your goals and go after your dreams with all your passion. You were given a gift and in that gift, there is going to be some challenges in that beautiful gift there are going to be some hard times in that beautiful gift you will have to step away from some of the people that you love the ones that are most closest to you they're going to see you rise and they are not going to support you they're not going to embrace you and praise you and push you as you go forward they might be intimidated by your success they might feel fear that they will lose you they might really do love you and don't want to lose you and they are intimidated that they might lose you to the success guess what that's okay you can be successful and show them that they never lost you because you're with them and you love them and you care about them but don't let them stop you from going after your dreams and going after your goals and becoming what it is that you are destined to be Go after it with all your heart, all your passion. Face your challenges. There will be days you're going to cry. There are going to be days you're going to feel like giving up. There are going to be days you're just going to sit down and hold your head. And you might even turn to the skies and look at God and say, Father, why would you let me go through this? All I'm trying to do is to survive and do the right thing. 
I've changed my life. I've done everything I need to do to see myself win. And still, Father, you put me through so much. I feel suicidal. I feel crazy. I don't know what to do. Please show me the way. Show me the way. And when you don't get to see the way, you're going to have to just take time to look at yourself, reassess your situation, pick yourself up, dust yourself off, and continue going. You never, ever, ever stop going, moving forward. Go after your dreams and don't let nobody tell you you can't achieve what it is that you're trying to accomplish. Make sure that you are subscribed to this YouTube channel. Do hit the like button and do share this video with at least one person. You never know how you might inspire, motivate, or encourage somebody and change one life. I would like to give a big thank you to Mr. Yoni Rosado and Magnificent Bodies for sponsoring this episode of the number one selling artist in the history of Belize. You're coming to Belize and you're thinking adventure. Think butts up. Cavetubing.com. Get out in a jungle with your friends on one of their ATVs or fly across rivers and trees on a zip line. And before you jump back into very comfortable buses, float into some of Belize's coolest cave systems in a tube. Bring your family and friends and enjoy your time in a great Belize outdoors. Cavetubing.com. Book now. Please allow this generous congratulation to you for making it through another exciting episode of the number one selling artist in the history of Belize. Do go ahead, smash that like button, hit the subscribe button if you have not already subscribed, and do share this video. I look forward to seeing you on another episode of the number one selling artist in the history of Belize.